Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see what's behind this door now. And of course it's more danger. Why wouldn't there be more danger? So we've got a little switchy switch here, but I don't really think it pays to hit the switch now. So I'm just gonna do that because you cannot go over the tracks. Yeah, if th this was on, I would be blocked off from being able to go through here. And as you'll notice, there's a sort of subset of squares in this game that corresponds to you being in Minish size. So that is very nice. Now look at these... These right here. They're like, hmm, I'm just thinking to sleep here. Nothing, there's nothing going on here. I don't notice anything in particular. But, once you change back to normal size... Oh, jeez. Attack of the blades. Try to lure him. There we go. Lure it into a corner like that. It's much safer. And voila. Now I'll be able to flip this over here and then flip the room. Or, well, not flip the room, flip the tracks around. And here we are. And we have ourselves a little something to do here. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Oh, shoot. Don't you dare do that again. Never again. Never. I wonder how they manage to get themselves out of the holes, actually. <laughs> or maybe they never do, and that's why we never see them get themselves out of the holes. It's faster to push than pull, so I'm just gonna swap sides here. And... Yep, even the switches that are on those pedestals are mechanically bound. I mean, they, they're like, maybe they're like a remote control or something, I don't know. It's just, they, they work, and they work. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of you. Get up here, and you get a kinstone piece. Yeah, these blocks. Oh! Forgot about something. Gotta go around this way. Yep. Because you can't push the blocks on this side. That would be way too easy. <laughs> Is an indicator that you can push it the into that other spot though. And oh, this room. Do I really have to do this room? I'm not a fan of this room. <laughs> Wait, did I? How how much progress do I have here? And that is oh, I forgot that chest. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's gonna be a warp appearing anyway, so whatever. Uh, that was bad timing on my part. So I'll be able to go back to the other area. That chest in the center is the boss key of this dungeon. I think I might have missed the dungeon map in that one treasure chest. Actually, oh... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Get over there in time. Oh! <laughs> Uh, you can also hit pots like that to flip them around, and they will actually break. It's kind of interesting as well, I always thought. That's a, uh, a fast way to clear the area. And I'm not going to bother hitting that switch until I come back around, just for the sake of saving time and whatnot. But that's... Ah! <laughs> but that switch causes a warp to appear, and you'll be able to use that warp to go back to the start. Oh, jeez. I flubbed it up, didn't I? Oh, no, I don't guess I'm okay. But I better cross over too! Oh! Because they were gonna be offset in timing. Oh geez, I'm just losing energy all over the place. This is not a favorite room of mine, by the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna mention that right now. Alright. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, gonna try and do this this way. There's enough. Oh yeah, there's plenty of time. Why did I think there wasn't enough time to do that? I've always, I've always raced it up until that point, so maybe that's why I always uh, thought of it that way. Oh, offset timing traps! Aha! Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Another kinstone piece! Oh, that's bad timing. Ah, uh, that's good timing. Wait, we not? Oh, wait, yeah, that was good timing, okay. I was only paying attention to two, not three. Uh, it just makes it easier than trying to keep track of everything at once because you know once things are offset in their timing they they will always eventually come to a point where they correspond to each other in just the right way for you to be able to pass through safely 
Alright, I think I am good here. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through the other room from a different angle. You know that room with all the lava? Yep. There's a, another set of obstacle courses involving um, uh, these whirlwinds. So, I recommend you start by going to the bottom right corner. Um, not this bottom right corner, the other... Wait, actually, no, wait. Can I... Can I... Yeah, that's what I thought. I could have just did that from the other side, though, but... Ooh, it's 100 rupees and my wallet is full, dang it. Duh, why? It always seems like I have too much money in Zelda games. <laughs> just how things always seem to go, I swear. Alright, now from here, go to the bottom left corner, and there should be another chest waiting for you. Eventually. <laughs> it's gonna take a little while, because flight in this game is rather slow. Just drop off here... there we go. Now we gotta work our way over to the center to get the boss key. Oh, oh. Gotta watch the shadow. I was paying attention to the whirlwind and not the shadow. And there we go. And this gives me the big key. I call it the boss key, but it's the big key. Common mistake. Alright. Now I can access the boss, but I still don't have the map because I forgot a treasure chest. So I'm gonna take advantage of the warp here and go flop through the rooms again to see what I missed and how I missed it. Like, how... How now, brown cow, raw cow, did I manage to miss that treasure chest, is what I'm wondering. Like, what if... Okay, it's... Left, and then down at the... Ah, at the... Oh. I have to use the train car. Or, I mean, the uh, mine cart, so that... Means I need to go straight from there, I think. So I have to hit this switch to make sure I go on the right path. And oh, I wasn't paying attention that the car is. Ah, the car is not there. <laughs> well, that's an interesting pickle. I know I'm able to get the dungeon map if I, like, reset the dungeon, but... <laughs> like, if I were to leave and then come back in, stuff like the um, minecarts will be uh, back in place, but that, ugh, that seems a little bit um, unexpectedly badly designed. <laughs> but let's see if it actually is done that way. I should say if I was supposed to have done that done it that way when I went through there the first time. My bad. <laughs> I have I haven't done any cuts here because I don't really think that's a good idea because I, I kinda have no choice but to show you ah the process as things are going along so to speak. Yeah, that switch is where it should be. Uh, that, Minecart? Yeah, there it is. See? Uh, oh! I see. Yeah, I didn't complete one room involving this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, by the way, if you were to ever go when you're in a uh, minish form and go into a hole, yeah, you'll actually fall into the hole as if it's bottomless. Makes sense, because you can't really get out of the hole when you're this tiny, after all. Alright. This room. This room. Yeah, how did I... Oh, jeez, people are going to be mes mes messaging me the whole time. Well, anyway, I'm, since I'm back through here, I can show this. Um, I, I, you cannot go up the stairs when you are in minish form. You know, I, I don't even know how I managed to miss that chest. Unless I was just, like, lost 
my train of thought as I was explaining the fire maze here when I was in Minish form, you know, going through that. Uh, sometimes, I swear, <laughs> I'm going to be the death of myself. <laughs> Alright. Let's get over to that warp point. Because it is up ahead, right? Because it's like, just past this room. <sighs> I'm always embarrassing myself with stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah. Um, well, I'm back on track, but that's not to the blue warp point that I was thinking of. But that's fine, I guess I'll just keep backtracking, because that was all my fault. Alas. Alas. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a second. Yeah, I gotta go through this way. This place loops around everywhere. But it's a pretty linear dungeon uh, for the most part because of the way that uh, you, you pretty much have to just exhaust all your possibilities before you can go on. And there, it doesn't seem like that there is all that much backtracking unless you stupidly miss a dungeon map like I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a possibility. Ah, can't believe. Ah. Well, it all worked out in the end, I suppose, because we are at the dun the end of the dungeon. Which means I gotta flip this platform one more time. So, bloop. and voila, open says me. And wait, wait, actually, just, 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 just in case. Okay, I wanted to make sure. There weren't any treasure chests. But is there any fairies that I can hold in my bottle? That would be pretty nice. It's not that this boss is hard. Oh, 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 oh. It just said it's always nice to have a fairy on hand. Right. Catch it in the bottle. Yoo-hoo! And if you die when you have a fairy in your bottle, regardless if it's not selected in your uh, inventory or not, it will revive you from death, and that is an extremely handy thing to have. I really wish I had another bottle at this point. <laughs> so let's drop down here and face down the boss. Known as... Glee Rock! Rawr. Very, very easy boss here. Let's go around. Use the cane on its back. It'll fall over. Go on its back. Attack the crystally thingy. Rinse and repeat as it goes into lava. But be careful of the rocks and stuff that can ambush you at the top of the screen. It's better to be at the bottom of the screen, actually, if at all possible. The lava will flow into the center as well, but you're always safe on the edges of the screen, so don't worry. Just watch for... Uh, shadows of rocks, watch for fire, and you will be good to go. By the way, you cannot flip over its back when it's glowing that brightly. You gotta wait until it's like that, and then you'll be able to flip it over. There we go. Get onto its back really quickly. And that fire that you see at the bottom of the screen there is made from his flaming breath. Uh, but you can easily dispel it just by going through like that and clearing out your path. This boss is ridiculously easy because even if you take a lot of hits, you can just snuff out the fire and you'll be able to get a bunch of hearts from it. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, it's probably even easier than the first boss because you have unlimited health at your disposal. Oh, I was a little bit too early on my timing there. Oh, there we go. Hmm, I think this is it. Yep. <laughs> Incredibly easy boss. Well, if you know what to do, I mean, you might be puzzled as to what to do at first if you've never played this before, but if you know what to do, it's not going to give you any trouble whatsoever. And... Fire Element time! Woo! Yeah! You got the Fire Element! Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. Now, PK Gam, do not miss the heart contain. <laughs> Woohoo! And that puts us up to seven hearts. Let's use the green warp and get out of here. 
Oh, that was hot. It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fire. <laughs> ah, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. That sounds like a good idea. So, before I end off the part, let's do so. It's, because, it's, I mean, it's right here. Come on now. <laughs> and wait, do you have anything to say about my return? Oh, you made it back safely. Fantastic. We are all starting to get worried. I think your sword might be ready. The boss was just putting the finishing touches on it a second ago. All right, you go, Ting Tong, Tong Along. I will get my sword. Uh, I'll talk to you two first. Ting Along, Tong Along. The sacred sword is done. Repeat. All right, Malari. What do you have to say about this? Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade, the White Sword! Ba -ba -ba -ba! And now we have a new sword in hand? Hint hint, wink wink, nudge nudge. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. So we've got a mystical blade in our hands. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it, be it will become a sacred blade. The Forest Elder no doubt told you this part, but... If you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the Elemental Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is a strange realm, trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the san Sanctuary opens only once every 100 years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. <laughs> Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be down in no time. Good luck. So this is actually the path that I used to um, go back to the fairy fountain in the last part. You just go down here, and this actually works as a double route now, as a shortcut back, because we now have the Kena Pakai. So, yeah. Everything is falling into place nicely. It's, it's so much easier going down than it is going up, obviously. <laughs> I mean, just look how quickly I am going through this here. And this leads right back to the beginning. Would you look at that? <laughs> So, I think I'm gonna walk back to town before I end off the part, actually, just because this is just so short. <laughs> ah, classic Zelda overworld music. And here we are. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.